Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cupboard, I'm Penge and welcome back to Sheltered 2, where the Keepers of the Tea now need one last alliance to complete this set, if you like, which is all very good indeed. So we are now allied with the Old Clan, which is all very good. We did that last time, we sent Ronald over to their headquarters, he did some sort of voice over work, he did some adverts, I don't know, became a famous weatherman of course, all that kind of happened in our story because, you know, it's fun, it's more exciting than him going over there just, you know, doing some boring continuity stuff. I still like the idea that he went over there and became a famous weatherman. So we did that, Ronald became a weatherman, and now we're allied with the old clan, which is all very good. We've been allied to Los Muertos for absolutely ages. We've been allied to the New Order for quite some time. Of course, the evil Church of Hope and the very unpleasant CT came up have been eradicated, which means it's now all down to the Black Roses. This is it. We get that alliance sorted, and then I don't really know. I'm not entirely sure what happens at that point. I mean, is it game over? Is there more to do? I guess we will find out. So that's what we need to do today. Now we do have one kind of job pending for them. So we've picked up the rare item from the rare item fairy's house, of course, and they're coming to pick that up. But I don't think that's gonna give us enough reputation to kind of cap out at 500, which then means they're gonna give us their final kind of quest thing. I think we're gonna get up to, hang on, let's go back a second. We're on 418, I think we get 70 for the rare item sort of uh, quest completions. So I think that's gonna put us up to 488 out of 500. So we're gonna have to wait around a bit, I think, for them to have another kind of suitable job for us to go and complete. And when we could, if we wanted to, we can say we're not interested in these. I wonder what would happen if we blat those out of existence. Do they sort of fill the gaps in with other ones that we then might possibly want to do? So let's say we don't want to do a rescue. So that job will be removed from the list of available jobs. Yeah, okay, we don't want to do that. And we don't want to do a capture job either. So maybe now they know that we don't want to do those, they might fill these kind of empty slots in with something more suitable possibly. I do not know, but there we go. We've now got two sort of slots available that maybe in the future, there might be some rare items or some like, you know, some sort of whatever it was, like a sort of resources kind of request or something, wasn't it? So maybe we could see those appear and that would be very good. So there we go. That's gonna be our kind of big job today. Just get that reputation up, get their final quest thing underway and then just see what we need to do for them. So uh, yeah, we're gonna wait for that. We just have to kind of sit around and wait for that now. So back at the bunker, everybody is home, which is all very good, and Ronald is back. There you go, hello Ronald, lovely to see you back here again. It's very nice. Uh, so let's begin, I think, with some skill points before I inevitably forget, because I always forget this. So let's go and do these now. We should have a few of these to dish out, I think from our traveling party. So let's have a quick look. So we have, yeah, there we go. So Betty has got a charisma point or two, just the one, that's okay. Um, let's have rallying, providing a passive plus three strength and plus three fortitude boost. These are really good. These ones down here are really, really good in charisma. So yes, you can definitely have that. And then I think there were a couple more, weren't there? Uh, Barbara has not leveled up. Will has not leveled up. Were there some more? There you go, Sharon has leveled up. Uh, Sharon, oh, Sharon's got quite a few. Sharon has strength and perception and fortitude. Okay, okay, Sharon's got two points in strength, yet we seem to have maxed out exploding heart attack and thunderous uppercut. <laughs> okay, <laughs> right, Sharon's a bit of a beast then. Um, okay, she can carry loads more stuff and she's a little bit scary looking as well with her imposing physique. What exactly do we want to get her to do? How about we just allow her to carry some more stuff? That could be quite handy. On a set bone could be quite useful actually. That could be quite useful. Maybe we give her a couple of points in set bone. So if you do that, so first is 25% chance. Ah, there we go. So it goes up to a 50% chance of success. I think that's probably worth having, just in case somebody does get a broken leg in combat or something, she can try and fix that. Did one of our people not get injured last time? I can't remember now. Um, okay, so perception, five points. Five points in perception. Um, okay. Let's have, I don't know, do you want that? Always prepared. Have a point in that just to see if it unlocks the tier three ones. Okay, there we go. So always prepared is up to a 60% chance of performing a counter attack on the first round of combat. That's very good. Um, so what do we want to do here? Locate weak point. I don't think we have anybody with that, do we? Or if we have, I can't remember ever using it. So let's give you a point in that just for the sake of it. That might be fun. Um, demoralize. Let's not have that, I don't think. Automatic repairing, that's not for you. Uh, return to sender. I do quite like the ability to sort of you know, catch grenades and chuck them back at people. That's quite fun. Um, therapist. Do you know what? We could have therapist. 
let's have another therapist on board just in case the next sort of quest lines require somebody with that skill. And we have one more point. Okay, go and have demoralize then. What's that do? Hang on. Taunt. Oh no, not taunt. Yeah, have demoralize. Why not? We'll go and try and upset the enemy by being a little bit mean at them. Um, and then fortitude. Two points in this. Okay, so have patched yourself up. There we go. So they're now going to heal 15% of their maximum health at the end of combat. That's very good. Uh, what's that one down there? If this character is about to take a hit, which will put them on zero health, they perform a counter-attack before becoming unconscious. That seems, that seems good, doesn't it? One last kind of hit before they black out. Yeah, I like that. Let's go for that. So that was Sharon. Sharon's got some very good skills. And Chris as well. Right, Chris has probably got quite a lot of strength, I imagine. Um, yeah, a couple of points in that. So, have Thunderous Uppercut, maxed out, please. And I think we've got everything to do with blunt weapons, haven't we? We've maxed out blunt weapons, because that's that there. Um, okay, let's have, I don't know, again, set bone, just in case that kind of is a thing that we need to do at some point in combat. Um, intelligence, you probably have quite a lot. Yeah, okay, right, so this is what we want to do. Where are the good, where are the good ones? Oh, you, you've maxed out on the good ones. Okay, now that's good. <laughs> that's good. I just don't know where we're going to put your five points. Let's go to Charisma. There's only a couple of points in that. Um, let's have... Uh, what's that there? Bedside Manor. Uh, that's Soothing Words. Attempt to cure a character of fear. That might be quite useful to have. You have that. And let's have Silver Tongue. Just again, in case we need that for some obscure reason. We'll just get that. There we go. Right, Intelligence. Five points. What do we do here? I mean, do we get you down to calculated one twos? That could be quite good because that means you get potentially two hits in with your massive, great, big kind of mega hitty hammer thing, which you can now use, which is very good. So how about we give you, uh, I don't know, a point in medical training. There we go. That opens up these ones. Then max out calculated one two. And then you've got one point left. What do you want with that? Resourceful healing. That's not very exciting. Experiment. Somebody does have that. And we might possibly dabble with that today at some point. Um, but I don't think you should have it. Improvised explosives. That's 10 stamina. And you can just you can just go and hit people. It's significantly harder than a grenade could hit them, I think. So let's not have that. Um, I don't know what's gonna be what's gonna be the most useful. I don't really know. I'm not entirely sure. Well, that, oh hang on, that one. Oh, why didn't we just go for this? While conscious, all party members deal 5% more damage. Yeah, we possibly should have kind of headed down that route. Never mind, there we go. That's yeah, a bit more damage. That's very good. I think that might be it. Yeah, because we started on wrong, didn't we? Okay, so there we go. All the skills have been dished out, which is a good thing, because normally we forget that. And when I say we, that's the role we. I mean me. I always forget that. So there we go. That is all done. Um, Ronald... The, uh, the recycler is looking a little bit kind of rickety. If you could go and repair that as your kind of first job on the way back, that would be wonderful. Uh, also, there is a medical bed here now, which is very exciting. And, Ronald, when you have done that, so you go over there, fix that thing. Uh, oh, it takes a while to fix that, look. It takes a little while to get that sorted. And do you know what? Repair the batteries as well, because they're going to look a little bit kind of wibbly as well. I like the way that... <laughs> to repair the recycler... He uses kind of like a, I don't know, like a sort of a welding thing, is it, or something? I don't know. But to repair the batteries, which arguably are a slightly more sort of, a slightly more delicate kind of thing. He just uses a big hammer. <laughs> That's how I'd fix batteries. I don't really know what I'm doing. If I hit it with a hammer, hopefully it will be fixed. There we go. Uh, rain up on the surface. Yeah, we've got plenty of water. Water is no longer a concern for us. Um, I think what we could do is we could put Ronald into the medical bed. And then we could find whoever had experiment. I think, was it Kathleen? Hang on. One of you had, yeah, there you go, experiment. So yeah, Kathleen here has got the experiment skill, which means that she can attempt to increase the maximum level cap of a single stat on another character. Has a 25% chance of success. If successful, that character can no longer be experimented on. So if we try and increase the maximum level cap on Ronald here, of his dexterity, it might mean that he, if we craft another sort of futuristic shooty gun, can use a futuristic shooty pew 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 gun type thing. Because yeah, he's got a dexterity of 14, which he's maxed out at. And I think the big shooty gun, hang on a second, let's just filter it on weapons, is, there it is, yeah, required dexterity of 16. So I think that's probably worth a go. However, 
Kathleen is currently asleep and also a little bit kind of whiffy as well. So how about we move time on nice and quick and then Kathleen can then wake up. She can have a shower. We'll make sure she goes and have a shower. I mean, yeah, all her other stats are looking pretty good. Maybe after you've slept, you could go and have a little bit of tea. That would be quite nice. Go and have a little, uh, a little cup of tea from down here. But there we go. So that's that sort. Oh no, Kathleen needs to... Oh, hang on a minute. <laughs> the showers are all occupied. Uh, Kathleen, just hang around for a bit. Barbara will be out in a second. It's fine. Oh no, you're going to this one. Do you know what? That's fair enough. Ah, right. There's somebody at the intercom. Uh, we've been sent to collect the rarity. Absolutely. There you go, Black Roses person. Just as expected. It's perfect. Okay, you've been instrumental in helping us find it. I mean, yeah, I, I would say so, given that we went and picked it up and bought it back and told you we had it. I too were quite instrumental. Uh, okay, so plus 70. Now, does that give us enough to open up their final quest thing or not? I do not know. No, 488 out of 500. We need one final job with them. Until that's done, we don't really have that much to do. Do we need to go out again? Actually, hang on, hang on. View the map. Aren't we under attack somewhere? Um, I know we've dealt with that. So we've dealt with them up there. I think that might be it, mightn't it? I think that's it. We dealt with that before. Uh, there are some events going on. Um, Black Roses failed to claim an outpost. Yeah, okay. So they've had a go at that. And um, the old clan failed down here. And now I don't think the old clan will try again because, of course, we're now best buddies with them, which is all very good. Okay, so no, we don't even have to go out and do anything. So really... We're just going to hang out in the bunker for a bit. We're just going to hang out and just, you know, have some chats, have some arguments. We're going to go and look at the vehicles that we can never, ever repair because there's a distinct lack of any kind of tyres anywhere in the wasteland. I don't know what we're going to get up to. So here we go. Where is Ronald? So Ronald is there. So how do we do this with the medical bed then? So what do we do? Lie on bed. OK, that would be a good start. So Ronald, you go and lie on the bed. Now, I assume that means you don't actually go to sleep. Okay, right, that's good. And then Kathleen, there we go. Now, I assume we go over here and, okay, experiment. Okay, dexterity and intelligence. Okay, dexterity, please. Now, there is only a 25% chance of this working. So, I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm not holding my breath. I don't think this is going to work. If it does work, it would be brilliant. If not, then never mind. He can use a rifle. So, here we go. So some experimenting is going, oh my goodness me, there was a lot of blood. <laughs> Ronald, <laughs> Kathleen, are you are you sure you know what you're doing? Are you sure this is fine? Do, do we need some, some medical assistance or anything? The experiment on Ronald failed. Ronald has been afflicted with chronic pain. Oh, good. Good job, Kathleen. Brilliant. Oh, this is amazing. And he's walking in the dark for some reason. There's lights above you, Ronald. Unless you've got your eyes shut. Um, okay. So what does chronic pain do? Minus five fortitude, minus two strength. Apart from, but he is feeling okay. <laughs> I'm feeling okay, except for the chronic pain. Um, oh, so can we cure the chronic pain? Can we go and take some meds for it or something? Do we have some sort of like painkillers or something? Uh, we have got med kits. Go and use one of those. Is that going to help at all? Like we've got loads of the tier one med kits. It's fine. You go and use one of those. And let's see if that helps with your chronic pain. Because it says that he's been afflicted with it. As though that's kind of a lasting effect now. I don't want that to happen to our people. I didn't know there were side effects. Okay, so he's had that. And now the chronic pain is still there. Okay, do we have a proper doctor on board? Can you go and lie back down? Um, hang on. Attempt surgery. Oh, this is Ronald. What are we going to do to you? <laughs> hang on, hang on. Where, where's the skill for that? Uh, surgeon can attempt to cure a character's physical ailment with a 50% chance of success. Okay, who do we have that's a surgeon? Because Ronald obviously can't do it. Right, Ronald, I'm really sorry. Go and lie back down on the bed of horrors. Um, Helen, uh, you are not a surgeon. Hang on a minute, hang on. There must be a surgeon somewhere. Let's not let Kathleen do it. <laughs> Ronald's going to run away. Uh, no, we did have one. Barbara. Of course it is. Oh, Barbara. Barbara can go and look after her friend Ronald. This is all very exciting. Okay, so Ron, get down here. End of week report is available. I wonder if we're being attacked anywhere by the Black Roses. Maybe we'll need to go out after all that. Uh, oh, very quickly, Barbara. Go and fix that, would you? If you could be so kind. Thank you. Let's take a quick look at this. So, yeah, okay, that's fine. We kind of know the deal with that. Black Roses failed to claim an outpost. Old Clan failed. Okay, so here we go. 
Um, Lost Muertos is attacking an outpost belonging to Black Rose. Black Roses are attacking an outpost belonging to the Keepers of the Tea. How incredibly tedious. Okay, fine. Uh, which one is it? It's... Where is that? Um, I can't quite work out where that is, game. Uh, oh, okay, no, that, yeah, okay, over there is the... I think over in that direction, or is it just there? It was where the weird guy was making his slightly dubious kind of films. Um, yeah, okay, maybe we'll head out and do that then. And I mean, I suppose we could, if there are, yeah, some petrol stations and things, maybe we could have a look around some more petrol stations and car parks and things, just to see if we can find some elusive tyres. Okay, fine, we're being attacked again. That's all a little bit tedious, to be honest, but never mind. Um, right, Barbara, here we go. Can we attempt surgery, please? Please don't make it worse. Please do not kill Ronald. Remember that, yeah, this is you dealing with a kind of physical object. Ronald is a person. Please do not kill him. Because <laughs> that would be bad. That would be a terrible end to the wonderful tale of Ronald, the famous wasteland weatherman. That would be awful. There's a lot of blood coming out. And the surgery attempt on Ronald failed. <laughs> oh, Ronald, I'm really sorry. I didn't realise it would have negative effects on you. I didn't realise that it would have negative effects. So I assume we can't do that again. Uh, I recently killed someone. Oh dear, maybe Barbara shouldn't be doing surgery. Um, I assume then that can't be attempted again. I assume that's it now. So Ronald forevermore has chronic pain. I'm really sorry, Ronald. I genuinely had no idea that that would have kind of you know, a huge negative impact on you. Um, there is a um, there's a trader out the front. Hello, trader. Who is this? It's Joanne. You sell kind of scrap stuff, don't you? Um, yeah, really. We're after rubber. We're after tier three rubber, but you don't have any of that. Um, what happens with the tires, the punctured tires that we can't sort of fix up and put on a car for some reason? We can make lightning rods. <laughs> we can make medical beds. but We can't patch up a tire for some reason. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if they turn into tier two rubber because it's a tier one thing. We will take a couple of pans because they're handy at making the... Um, they're handy at making uh, the metal sort of shaving stuff. So we can make other components and such. And we'll take all the cement because we can. And we'll take all of the rocks as well because that gets turned into limestone, which is very nice. And we'll take a fancy sheet of metal as well because why not? And we'll take some of the um, some of the fabricy stuff because that does turn into useful sort of wool and whatever, just in case we need to do some stitching up or repairing. Okay, yeah, that will do, I think. Um, now, what would you like in return? Let's order it by trade value. Uh, ah, we haven't got any silver bars anymore. Botherations. Okay, would you like, would you like a slightly worn out hatchet? Uh, yeah, there's, there's an offer for you right there. And that would do it, would it? Oh, crikey. Okay, hang on. How about then we give you a tier three circuit board instead? And then just sort of go right down the list here. Would you like a tier three circuit board and a... And a <laughs> <laughs> and a jacket potato. How about two jacket potatoes? Go and spoil yourself. 98% chance of success. There you go. A, a circuit board and two jacket spuds. Very nice indeed. And there we go. They agreed. Wonderful. <laughs> what a very odd trade arrangement. Right. And then, uh, oh, hang on. The recycler is, oh, it's recycling something. Oh, oh, okay. We're going to have to wait for that to finish. Okay, right. I was wondering why it didn't come up with the recycle option. Because, yeah, it's already doing something. Okie doke, fair enough. Um, right, I suppose, I suppose we could get somebody ready to go for a bit of a wander up on the surface. We could get a team ready to just go out and do a spot of exploring and fighting and what have you. I mean, who do we take out? I think maybe let's take out Betty and oh, let's take out Chris because Chris now does have 20 strength. So Chris can use a great big kind of hitty super mallet thing. Uh, Betty can use the big pew pew futuristic gun. Um, and then we'll take out, uh, yeah, we'll take out Sharon and who else comes with us? Hang on, who is it? Uh, hang on, it's Betty and a oh, Will comes out. Of course, it's sorry, Will. I completely forgot about you. Yeah, so you can come out as well. Let's have a look at your stats very quickly. You've got dexterity of 17. Is it worth giving you the big pew pew gun as well? Uh, hang on, hang on. What are your traits like in terms of dexterity? Have we given you anything useful with guns? No, because we kind of set you up for a um for a sort of a melee build. Oh, botherations. Okay, never mind. No, you can just stick with the big kind of hitty weapon things. Um, okay, can we do anything better with sharp weapons? Because we've got, hang on, craft items. 
we've got this kind of thing here, an extended hatchet. Okay, so a hatchet with an extended handle for greater accuracy. Equip as a weapon on expeditions or during a breach. Okay, so required strength is 13. So a regular hatchet, I assume, is 12, is it? Hang on, we can see, oh, we can't kind of go down the hang on. Can we, can we cut down there like that and then go and look at a real hatchet? No, we can't do that. Um, that's a bit of a shame. Um, so yeah, hang on. So 13, it's 55 to 65 damage on a regular hatchet, on a special hatchet. Hang on, so filter that on weapons. So hatchet, hatchet, like that. Strength 12, 45 to 55. Okay, so that one will do some extra damage. Okay, yeah, well, how about we make I mean, at least one of those, because that'll be quite good. But then who else? You, oh, hang on, I need my book. I need my book of who uses what weapon in kind of what situation. Hang on, where's my little list of what people do? Okay, there we go. I've got the list. It was kind of under a big pile of stuff on my right. So I had to kind of you know, dig around for it, but I found it, which is all very good. So Betty, as we've discussed, uses the big sort of futuristic pew pew gun type thing. Uh, Will uses a bladed weapon, so Will can have one of the fancy extended hatchets, because I think that looks like the best kind of bladed weapon. I think that looks like the most effective bladed weapon that we can get. So 55 to 65 damage and um, yeah, a bit of accuracy and 50% chance to cause bleeding, which is very good. So, okay, so we need to make one of those. And then if we're taking out Sharon, Sharon also uses a bladed weapon. So what Sharon's strength? I imagine it's more than 13. Hang on, Sharon. Uh, so go to your stats. Um, it's 18. Yeah, you're, you're capable of using one of those as well. So, uh, Ronald, because you're next to the thing and you're very good at this, can we make, please, two extended hatchets? Please, thank you so much. That would be wonderful. So here we go. He, oh, okay. <laughs> he went to yell at Kathleen, I imagine, to say, what have you done to me? Why do I feel so awful all the time? What happened there? But there we go. Right, so now we've got two of the fancy hatchets. We've got one of the big kind of mega, oh, they are called mega hammers. Yep, it's the big mega hammers and a futuristic gun. I mean, we've got some really good tools. We've got some really good kind of weapons going on, which is very nice indeed. Okay, right, let's get people, and no, no, bags. Bags, 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 maybe. Is that what's in the recycler? I can't remember what we put in the recycler. It's been a while since I last played this. Um, did we put all the bags in the recycler? Because a few people in the comments have pointed out that it's it's you know, more effective on your resources when your bags break to chuck them into the recycler, break them down to their component parts and then rebuild them than it is to keep repairing them, which does seem a little bit of a, um, a, little bit of a weird way around of doing things. I think let's just move time on for another, what, six hours. We'll just keep time ticking over. I mean, it's coming down quite quickly there. We can chat about music, which is very nice. Um, and then, yeah, we'll get the stuff out of here. Then we'll put the next round of stuff into the recycler. And then, yeah, we'll go and make some bags and such like, I think that could be worth doing. Oh, Ronald, look at that. Whilst you're here, the yellow jasmine is ready. You go and harvest that because that gives you something to do. Aren't you fixed a wall fan as well? Aren't you good? Um, right, so there we go. Hooray, a load of random flowers. Let's put some more back in, shall we? Not with fertilizer. Let's keep that for maybe food and such like. Let's put those in. What are we growing? We're growing, holy basil, Batman. Okay, wonderful stuff. Um, right, okay, let's wait for this thing to finish, which it just did, marvellous. Right, okay, so collect those items. Um, okay, oh yeah, it was all the, um, it was the metal shavings, wasn't it? I can't quite recall what we needed them for. What did we need the metal shavings for? Where are we going to, ah, hang on. Were we going to increase our storage at some point? Because we are quite close to our sort of storage limit. Um, Helen, you're near the mop, so you can go and do some cleaning, thank you. Um, yeah, hang on a minute, hang on. So let's go back to, let's go back to Ronald. Were we looking at getting some sort of fancy boxes set up? I can't remember. Uh, we could, could we get one of those? I don't think we've got enough plastic for that, but we have got, I think, five bottles of water that we could use for the, the three-tier plastic there. We've got sort of bottles of water lying around. But yeah, that would be very good. That'd be really good. That's 2,000 storage increase. That's amazing. I don't think we've got enough, enough of the plastic to actually get a stacked one, which is a bit of a shame, but never mind. So I think, yeah, were we looking at that? We might possibly have been looking at that. I can't really remember now. It was a little while. Um, but yeah, let's go and make some. Let's go and make some sheets of metal. Now that we've got the um, the actual sort of uh, metal shaving things in, go and make 
10 of those and just see how we get on with that. Is that what our plan was for this? I don't know, but it is now. Oh, hello. How are you? Hi, Sarah. Good hat. Oh, it's got a smiley face on it. That's lovely. Um, yeah, we're not accepting new recruits right now. I do apologize. I know vacancy sign has sort of fallen down outside somewhere. So I do apologize. We're not going to accept anybody right now. But um, you know, keep an eye out for the future. Maybe at some point we'll open up and we'll have more people in and all that kind of stuff. Have this lovely mug of fresh piping hot tea. It's a nice corporately branded mug. So take that you know, with, our, with our thanks for popping by. And um, yes, good luck in the future. Lots of the people out there are brilliant. All the other factions out there are good now. There's none of the sort of terrible ones. There's none of the kind of evil church or the stabby killy ones anymore. So it's fine. You'll find somewhere else. So uh, yeah, it's a no from us right now. I do apologize. Right. So Ronald is always having a sleep. Well, of course he is. Hang on. Let's get the other stuff recycling then, shall we? So what did we want to chuck in here again? Right. So all of that stuff. We do get quite a lot of tier two leather out of that now because we put it into the recycler. Um, okay. We've got two school bags up and running. Two are sort of fine. So let's chuck that one in. So throw that in. That's leather and a bit of the uh, bit of the nylon there. And then down we go. What else did we just pick up? I can't remember what we got. What did we get? We don't need that knife. That gives us a sheet of metal, which is very good indeed. Uh, and we don't need that. And we don't need that. That gives us all sorts of exciting bits and bobs. We don't really need these guns. Should we just get rid of a gun? Hey, fancy springs and an exciting pipe. Okay, um, get rid of some of the some of the ammo, possibly. Just get rid of that tier one pistol ammo that we're never ever going to use. Ah, right there we go. So frying pan. That's some lovely metal shavings. That's pretty good. That's going to give us three hundred and forty-five metal shavings. I assume that's from all the bullets, I guess. Um, and we'll get rid of the spike knocker duster because we don't want that either. And I think that's it. I think that will do. Let's get rid of seven lots of the sort of tier one shotgun stuff as well. There we go. That's going to keep that busy for ages. That's going to keep the recycler busy for quite some time. Okay, there we go. Right, so recycler, go and work on that, please. That would be wonderful. Okay, so Ronald has just kind of run down and finished his work on all those sheets of metal, which is very good. So I think now we've got nine out of ten. Nine out of ten we've got. That's a bit of a shame. So we need to make maybe a couple more just to make sure that we do get the kind of three star stuff out of it so that'd be very good so ronald back you come you're not done yet sorry make two more because that's all we can actually make with the metal shavings we have now right so that's two done is that enough and yes it is so now we just need five lots of the tier three plastic now we could do that we could do that. So let's get Ronald to nip to the loo because that will use up a bit of water. So that's okay. So you can do that. And then would you like a drink as well, Ronald? When you're done, go and get a drink. So there you go. So now we're on 534. So now let's go into here. And where is the water? I'm pretty sure we've got, there you go. Oh, we've got we've exactly five lots. Okay, that's perfect. Um, oh. No, no, that's just plastic. No, hang on. That's not the bottle. <laughs> that's just the bottles. That's not bottles of water, Penge. My goodness me. Need more tea. Um, Hang on. Where are the bottles? Oh, there's a floppy disk. We haven't done the floppy disk. Okay, hang on. I'm completely missing the bottles of water. There we go. There's 12 lots. Okay, right. Hang on. Let's just discard uh, single. Oh, no, not single. Oh, botheration, just got rid of it. Never mind, never mind, it's fine. Add single, add single, that's three, that's four, that's five. So now I've added five to the supply, which means if we then look at that, we've got 10 lots of lovely tier three plastic. Possibly should have one more, but never mind. Right, this is very good. Now, Ronald, to keep you busy, would you like to build us an advanced storage crate? The future is here. We've got nowhere to put the storage crate. Oh, botherations. Okay, do you know what? We'll tuck it up here somewhere. We'll put it there near the big spiky trap thing. That's absolutely fine. So there we go. A fancy storage crate, which will sort, uh, yeah, sort out our storage for absolutely ages. And we've maxed out cleaning as well. We're going to perform cleaning jobs even quicker, which is very good. Um, and Ronald, could we please... Go and repair the um, the weather vane. Oh, and possibly the oxygen filter and maybe the water collector. Yeah, everything up there needs a little bit of TLC. Um, don't do that alone, though. Barbara, you go and repair all of those things. That would be marvellous. So you go into all the wind turbines. And can you do the, um, the floodlights as well? So repair that. And 
repair that. That'd be very good. Why is the right hand floodlight not on? Why is it not? Oh, oh, have we ran out of power? Oh, hang on. Yeah, I think we're struggling for power. Um, it looks like all the main things are on. The recycler's not on, which is a bit of a shame. Do we switch on one of the generators and then just, just put some fuel in it and just get that going? Um, yeah, the battery is kicking out power, but it's not enough, unfortunately. Okay, botherations. And some of our plants are ready to harvest. Yay. Um, okay, Will, you can go and do that. Hang on. Oh, no, we can't do it because it's not powered. Um, <laughs> Okay, okay, right, hang on, hang on, this is fine, it's fine. Uh, let's switch on that generator. So enable that generator, please, Will, and then add some fuel that you are mysteriously carrying with you, I imagine. Just go and add some fuel, and there we go. All the lights have come back on, everybody. It's wonderful, there we go. Just as a kind of temporary measure type thing. Um, ooh, okay, Ronald is losing health. It, uh, it's really cold, it's really cold up on the surface. Hang on. There's um, broccoli there that does need a spot of watering. We've not gone to harvest it. We're going to water it instead. Can you... No, 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 no. Forget the forget the water collector. Go and water that first whilst you're there. So there you go. Spot of water. Then repair the water collector. Then go inside. You'll survive. You'll be fine. You're a bit grumpy because you're in pain in the dark and it's cold and you're sad. But you'll be fine. You, you won't die. You're not going to take that much damage, I do not think. So you've got hypothermia. Okay, maybe come inside. <laughs> maybe come inside and have a nice lie down. There we go. Have a lovely sleep, Ronald. And where's Barbara? Barbara, you can also have a nice sleep. There we go. Let's just send you to bed. Sorry, you too. And I think the holy Basil Batman is ready. So let's go and harvest that. There we go. We'll go and do that, if you'd be so kind. And let's just put something else back in there. Why not? Yay, a load of stuff. Uh, right, do you know what? Yeah, plant seeds. I don't know those ones. What do we get this time? What random sort of thing are we going to get? It's ginger root. Okay, that might be useful. For some sort of uh, some sort of pharmaceutical thing, I'm not entirely sure. And um, one thing we could possibly look at. Um, oh, hang on. One thing we need to look at is Will having a shower because he's a little bit whiffy right now. So you go and do that. You go and have a quick shower. Splendid. Um, can we? Uh, can we? We should be able to make. Hang on a second. Hang on. Go to here. We should be able to make some limestone because we bought some rocks. So we can go and make two lots of limestone, which is good. And then can we sort of work on any more bits of the bunker? Because we've got that room. The top floor's looking good. It'd be good if we could finish this floor here with just the plain walls. I'd be happy with just plain walls across there. Can we do that? So that's just tier three plaster, isn't it? We can do two. And again, we're being restricted by the sand, which is a bit of a shame. Um, because, yeah, we can't sort of easily get that. Okay, do you know what? Yeah, we'll do that, though. So we'll have a plaster room just there. And we will have, if we go back to tier three, a nice plaster room just there as well. Splendid. Just to you know, try and finish this off a bit. I mean, these down here are never going to get done. We're never going to finish the base in terms of making the walls look nice. But at least we can do some of it. We can do a little bit of work. So there we go. Wonderful. Everyone gets a little bit sad. Everyone gets a bit sad when we do that. Why do people's, why does the mood come down when... When that happens, I don't quite know why they got a sad face above them when we made a plaster wall, but okay, don't, never mind. Um, right, we do need some people to go out, though. We need some people to go out and do a spot of the fighting. So let's get people ready. So, um, yeah, we need Chris, Betty, uh, Sharon, and Will to go out. So, yeah, we need to get them all rested up and fed and watered and, yeah, gone to the loot and their ablutions and all that kind of stuff. So let's do that. Let's get that all kind of sorted. And whilst they're doing that, why don't we get everybody else to just, you know, go and do something more productive than just sort of standing around the place? Why don't we get, say, Kathleen to come down here and work on your intelligence? We've got Barbara standing there, who only needs to improve her fortitude. Okay, Barbara, I think you might get that from using, yeah, the big weight kind of things down here. I think that might get your fortitude up. So you do that. Um, Ronald does need a little bit of work. Oh, hang on. Ronald's, oh yeah, his, his stats are down, aren't they? They should be 15, but he's down to 10 fortitude. Oh, dearie me. Okay, so you can work on your charisma, Ronald. And then who else is there? Right, so Helen, what are you doing? You're just watching the others sleep, which is a little bit weird, but okie dokie. Um, you need to increase your strength. However, somebody's already using the kind of strength thing with jiggers. Um, how about, I mean, is there cleaning up to be done again? Yes, there is. Okay, you go and do that, please. Um, Chris, are you ready? Oh, 
I thought I told you to go to sleep, Chris. Clearly I did not. Okay, go and have a nap, please, Chris, just before you go out for a bit of a wander. And is that done? Right, so collect those items, pick all that up. That's very good. In fact, hang on a sec. Hang on. Uh, Ronald, let's interrupt you for a second, because now the recycler's finished. So can we now craft some bags, please? Now, if we could make the fancy bags, that would be amazing. Can we, oh, we can make loads of the Explorer's backpacks. Hang on, is there a tier four bag? Um, there's a small military backpack, but that does need lots of tier three leather that we just don't have. We don't have that at all. There's bulletproof vests, but we generally don't come across people with bullet, uh, with uh, with bullets. Well, yeah, with bullets, with shooty guns. So generally we don't need that. And also it does use up a lot of our rubber that we want to keep to make one single tire. So um, yeah, let's make, I don't know, can we make loads of these? We can make, I mean, at least four of these. So that will do the job. Maybe we just make a fifth just to you know, make it fancy. Yeah, okay, let's do that. Let's make five of those, please. That's going to be very good. Okay, yeah, that'll keep you busy for a bit. And then what were you doing? Were you back on something? Hang on, do you need to do some repairing of anything else whilst we're looking at stuff? Um, oh, yeah, we need to repair the bedroll. That needs to be done. And then we've got, oh, yeah, repair the three lots of binoculars. Why not? That'll do. Um, and then, yeah, a couple of those stab proof vests could do with just sort of topping up a little bit. But I think, is it even worth doing that? I don't even think it's, oh no, we've got, it's, what's that? Tier one leather. Oh, do you know what? We'll do it. Just use it, the tier one leather. That's fine. Right, so Ronald, go and do some fixing. And there we go. I think that's done. Back you go. You can go and work on your, what was it? Charisma again. There you go. You go and work on your charisma stuff, please. And I think now we're just waiting for Chris and Will to just, you know, have their beauty sleep. And when they're done, I think that should be it. So let's have a quick check. Chris's stats look good. And there we go. Betty's stats look good. And Will stats look okay. Well, you could do with a quick nip to the uh, to the loo before we head out, but that's okay. You know, have one, have a try before we leave. And Sharon is looking good. Okay, I think we are ready to go a wandering. Hang on, one thing I did actually think to check. Uh, if we go to would it come under equipment, the ammunition for the shooty gun thing. Uh, I know there's 10 lots. There's 10 lots. Of that. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. There's loads of it. Yeah, not to worry. I thought we might be a little bit short, but no, we've got plenty of the stuff. Okay, right. Let's get everybody ready to go for a wander. In fact, hang on. First things first. Black Roses. Hello. Good to hear a friendly voice. Say the people who are trying to kill, I don't know, nick our base from us. We have to go and have a fight with them. Um, Got any jobs? Just a rescue job. Botherations. Okay. Could you just give us one job that we can do so we can get your next quest thing, please? Actually, that wasn't on the list, was it? That wasn't on their list of things. No. I mean, if you could do that for us, just one very small job. Could we come in, I don't know, mow your lawn or... <laughs> I'm not really sure. What can we do for you? Just do some like odd jobs around the place. Wash the car or something. Just to get that reputation up by 12 little points. That'd be quite nice. But no, we can't do that right now. Okay, instead... Instead of, you know, washing your car and mowing your lawn, we're going to get a group of people together to go and sort of kill you a bit. Some of our plants have died. Oh, botheration. Did I not notice that they were ready to be harvested or did they die in the cold? I don't know. Um, okay, right. Yep, yeah, let's get them ready to go up onto the surface for a little bit of a meander around. Actually, thinking about it, I don't know if we have enough travel rations for them to go up onto the surface and wander around for very long at all because there's 53 there. There's none there. And there's 15 there, so that means, uh, hang on, what was it? 53 plus 15, 60, mouse with pain, 68, 68 rations. That's not going to last very long. Hang on, we need somebody to go and do some more work on that, please. That would be good. I mean, Betty, you're kind of standing very nearby. Uh, could we go and just prepare some more rations, please? Right, what's going off? That cottage pie is going off, so you might as well sort of turn that into rations, as is that meat stew, as is that meat stew. So they're going to go off anyway. So that's making a very, very good, sort of a very good pile of rations. Uh, there's a vegetable stew. We can chuck that in and that one as well. Our food is looking pretty good. Our food is looking okay. And you know what? Let's just throw a couple of the boiled rices in. Let's do three lots of boiled rice. Mmm, <laughs> delicious. And there we go. Now you go and do your magic with this and just somehow in an instant turn all those things into some sort of travel rations. I don't know how that works, but there we go. Magic happens, I suppose. Um, why is our food degrading at 0% per day? Is that room really, is that room frozen? I thought I'd put it onto, that should be on one degree C. Hang on, hang on. Uh, room information. It's on minus 0.2. Oh, that room is freezing. 
I mean, I suppose that's good. Good for the food. It's not going to go off. But yeah, I thought maybe that room was a bit warmer. Okay, right. Now we've got the rations done. Now we can set up an expedition. Do you know what? I think this might well be the most lethal squad we've ever sent up onto the surface. This is all very exciting indeed. So Betty has got the great big kind of futuristic pew 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 gun type thing. That causes 100 to 130 damage just without any kind of modifiers to that. And of course, Betty's got all sorts of skills to cause more damage with ranged weapons and all that kind of stuff. So that thing is really lethal. And then both Will and Sharon have got the big long kind of choppy hatchet things. So they cause quite a good amount of damage, 55 to 65 damage. That's pretty impressive. And then Chris has got the great big kind of mega hammer type thing, which on its own causes 110 to 120 damage. And again, that doesn't take into account any of his kind of skill modifier things. So that thing is going to absolutely pack a punch when it hits. That's going to cause so much damage. And I imagine we will have to use it at some point. We'll get involved with some survivors or something and they'll get all fighty with us and then we'll have to use that. So I'm looking forward to seeing that in action. I don't envy the uh, sort of person on the receiving end of it because there might not be much of them left when Chris is at his way. But there you go. Yeah, you know, he's going to hit them with a hammer if they're causing trouble. We're just going to bop them with a hammer and see what happens. You know, see how many bits they sort of scatter into or whatever. But there we go. So we've got some fairly good weaponry going on. That is very good indeed. So I think, yeah, now let's just head up onto the surface. You've got the you know, sort of regular things of medical supplies and the ammo for Betty's gun and all that kind of stuff. So uh, yeah, let's go and see where we're going to head. So take off the auto travel rations stuff so we need to go oh, yeah I didn't look at where it was actually I think it's up here isn't it so we need to go to there to stop the uh, to stop the attack there from the black roses which is a little bit unfortunate I kind of hope they wouldn't attack us given that we're really really good friends but there we go they've come to attack us so we'll go and sort that out and then is there anywhere where we've not really been we've kind of covered that bit of the map we've covered over here I don't imagine there's much over there uh, there's probably not that much down here I wouldn't have thought. It looks like that might be the edge of the map down possibly there. Might be sort of water across here. I mean, we haven't really got that much of the map left to look at, I do not think. So I think we have been quite unfortunate on not finding car parts, you know, particularly tyres and such like. Maybe we could sort of have a wander over there, although it is really far away from where we're going to go. I mean, we need to go there first. So we'll just head straight there, because that just gets us there. It's nice and simple. I mean, are there any sort of car parks along the way? There's a little car park there, but we've been there quite a lot of times. Uh, is there anything over here? I mean, there is that petrol station. So we could go to there, have a sort of little poke around in the petrol station. That should be fine. Um, ooh, we have got a cassette, haven't we? Is it worth making the trip over there? Hang on, we're going to have to go back to um, to take the cassette with us. Hang on, I think we've got a cassette tape type thing haven't we oh and betty's got her she's got a floppy disk that we didn't use i'm not undoing all this it takes ages to get a party ready to go out um hang on uh where is this not seeds quest would it be quest oh there's three. Oh, okay the alien who can't die ah okay yes right okay so a time traveling alien who doesn't know how to die travels with companions perfectly capable of death to remind them of their own mortality okay we'll take that with us and we'll take Space Wars, a space empire continually holds a galaxy hostage with its array of moderately accurate soldiers. Okay, we'll take that and we will take with us Firebug, a captain with no clue, a crew with a death wish, a ship about to fall apart. Will that make the delivery on time? Ah, oh, brilliant. I love Firebug. It's a great series. Um, okay, yeah, we'll take those as well. Uh, yeah, so let's head over to just there then. Hang on, turn the auto off. Go there. Go to that little petrol station just to see if there is anything there. Then go to there to go and see Frank, I think it is, isn't it? To hand in those um, cassette tape things. Right, what else is there? There's a graveyard over there. Are there any kind of, there's a hospital, is there any kind of places where there might be cars? Recycling centres. Yeah, no car parks around this part of town. That's a bit of a shame. Offices and everything else. Okay, so maybe not there. What's that? Another graveyard. Okay, let's not go to the obvious trap graveyards. Um, there is a car park just there. We could go nosy over here because we don't know what's over there. There might be, I don't know, there might be a massive tyre factory just there. So what we could do is we could just go there. That could finish our first leg of the run. That's only going to take 18 rations to do all that. So if we give them, I don't know, all of them, let's give them like a hundred and something rations. And that means that, yeah, they're not going to run out. And they can have a good long wander about the place just in search of tyres. They might not need 150 rations or whatever they've got. How about have 125? 
there you go. So 125 rations. They've got all their futuristic weapons. They've got medical supplies. They've got the you know, bedroll and everything else. So they should be okay to go out. So, okay. You four, cheerio. You go and do a little bit of fighting fairly early on. And they should get to that quite quick because they're not stopping off anywhere else. So you go out there with your fancy military backpack things on. And um, yeah, we'll so get everybody else to just you know, manage things back at the bunker. Oh, and Kathleen has reached her maximum intelligence. Okay, right. Well, no point reading that book then anymore because you can't get anything out of it. Um, okay, so what do you need to do now? So you need to work on perception and fortitude. Okay, crikey, you're looking very good. However, could we also harvest this plant over here when you're done? That'd be quite handy. There we go. Lots of ginger root. Very nice indeed. Uh, what's your intelligence? It's 16. Do you know what? How about you go and do some crafting over here? Why not? Let's go and do this, shall we? Uh, because, yeah, we can make quite a bit of proper anti-emetics. I think I said it right this time. Um, because previously we could only make the kind of homemade stuff, which does have a 25% chance of it not working, which isn't great, really. So, yeah, I think, yeah, we've got a bit of that. But now I think we can make proper anti-emetics because we're now allied with the, is it the old clan? I think it was then, wasn't it? that gave us this ability. So we could just make, uh, I don't know, do we need the holy basil Batman for anything else? Uh, no, I don't think we do. So yeah, just go and make as much of that as we can. And then can we do that homemade antibiotics? Can we make proper antibiotics? Uh, I don't know if we can. Uh, antibiotics needs garlic. Uh, oh, it needs tier three garlic. Oh, crikey, no, we're nowhere near that. We hardly have any garlic at all anywhere. But yeah, there we go. You can make that. And then after you've done science, you can do some mopping as well. And you can you know, do more science about how the mop and the particles work on the floor or something. I don't know. But there we go. Right, good job. So working on medical stuff. Um, Barbara looks a little bit worn out. Yeah, Barbara, go to bed, Barbara. Go and have a lie down, for goodness sake. Is it worth, just to pass the time, maybe getting some more of the upgrades done on our kind of things upon the surface? So I think maybe get the oxygen filter durability sort of upgrade done to the third tier, which increases the durability of it by 30%. That's got to be a good thing. That means less time up on the surface fixing the stuff, which is obviously very, very good indeed. So we need quite a lot of duct tape, a woo, and also some nuts and bolts and quite a lot of chains. But they are only two star things. The only thing is that, yeah, that is going to require a lot of our sort of metal sort of uh, shavings or whatever. So nuts and bolts and chains. I mean, 10 lots of nuts and bolts. That should be okay for us to be getting on with. So Ronald, I'm thinking maybe you could get on with that. That'd be great. We've got 550 something. Oh, you can make nine of those. Why is that? Um, oh, hang on a minute, because I've told you to go and read a book. Ronald, no reading of books. Not that now. Uh, there you go. So 10 lots of nuts and bolts. So let's go and do that. So that should sort that out. Because I think, hang on, if I just go and have a quick check. You can't make, hang on, go to there. Uh, yeah, there's no, there's a 0% chance you're making a one star nut and bolt. It's two star or above, so that's fine. And then we needed some chains. The only thing is the chains take an entire piece of metal. So let's just make, I don't know, five chains for now. I can't remember how many we needed. How many did we need? Uh, hang on a minute. We needed another nine crikeys. Okay, fine. Well, there you go. Make... Another five. So now we just need another four of those. But do we have enough metal to do that? I don't know. Where are the chains? Uh, no, we don't. So let's make, uh, I don't know, make that many sheets of metal, please. So go and do that. So hit a T hit. Just want to get this one upgrade done. That'd be really good. If we could just increase the durability of that, that would be nice. And then we need to four more of those, didn't we? So four more chains. So get that done. That's very good. And then it was duct tape. A woo. So we need a bit of glue. So oh, we can just, just make 10 lots of glue. Just make 10 lots of glue. It's fine. And then we can just make loads of duct tape. And the expedition party need attention. I'm sorry, I didn't do the duct tape. A woo. Just then. A woo. Um, right. Other survivors. Oh, no. <laughs> we don't want to have to kill you, survivors. Please leave us be. Martha. Save Martha. Okay, right. We're going to try and run away. We're going to try and save Martha. Okay, we did. Hooray, we've saved her. Marvellous stuff. Good job. <laughs> that was uh, that was a lucky escape for you there, Martha. And then, Ronald, for your final thing, can you just make 10 lots of very high-quality, lovely duct tape? A woo. Right, okay, now they've arrived over here, which is good. So let's have a quick fight with the Black Roses. I don't really 
Uh, I don't really hold out much hope for the people over here. Uh, woo! Again, Scooby-Doo ghosting at us. The Black Roses are taking this outpost, and there's nothing you can do about it. Mm, I beg to differ there, Lieutenant the Black Roses, but okie doke. Let's defend the outpost. Ah, we don't have time for this. Fine, I'm going to rearrange your face into something more pleasing to the eye. I don't think you are. I admire your bravado, but I think possibly you're going to be a little bit kind of dead soon. Um, okay, so Chris is up first. <laughs> I mean, Chris can backstab. Chris could go and backstab. I don't know how you backstab a person with a great big hitty hammer thing, but here we go. 220% of the equipped weapons damage. Let's go and backstab this poor soul here. That's 502 damage. <laughs> Just straight off. Crikey. Oh, and he's got another go as well. Uh, we can't do melee because it costs five. Boo. Uh, oh, no, you can do a calculated one too, though. Uh, it's just punching. Oh, I thought that was more sort of... Uh, I thought that was more uh, using a weapon or whatever. But there we go. Can you do that again? Oh, yeah, you can. Okay. <laughs> You're going to be dead then. And boom. Right, okay. So Chris takes down two before anybody else has even done anything. Uh, right, okay. Time for the big, long kind of hatchet thingamajigs. Um, let's, ju let's just use them. Just melee. Just yoink and dead. <laughs> right, there we go. Oh, a load of shiny, lovely things. But no tier three rubber, I noticed. Boo game. Uh, yeah, okay, we'll take all of that stuff. Yeah, thank you so much. Brilliant. Hooray, we've defended the thing. Um, okay, right, where are they heading to next? Oh, yeah, they're going to head to the um, to that petrol station and then to see where those um, where those tapes could go, possibly, if we can get something for them. Okie doke. Right, and then in the meantime, we've made all that duct tape. A woo. So now we should be able to do that upgrade. Oh, no, we need one more. We need one more duct tape. A woo. Outrageous. Okay, do you know what? Just just make 10 more. There you go. <laughs> just to really make sure. But you can go to the loo first, Ronald. Use the most inconveniently placed toilet you can find. That's it. Don't go for the one that's nearby. What sense would that be? Oh, crikey. Okay. Uh, survivors. Encountering road. Please don't fight us. It's Robert. He's on his own. He's sensible. Would you like to do some trading? Um, okay. He's saying no. Fair enough, Robert. Absolutely Fair enough. You don't have to trade if you do not want to. That is okay with us. Right, now that's done. We surely must have enough now. There we go. Loads of it. Right, go and upgrade the durability of the oxygen filter. It's quite an important thing. I think it should be quite a durable thing. And there we go. And do you know what? Whilst you're there, just give it a quick repair. Just go and, you know, do some work on it. Marvellous stuff. And yeah, we'll get this done. I think we'll search that location. So what is here in the petrol station? Please have left a tyre behind somebody. Come on, there's got to be some tyres. <gasps> is it a tyre? It's a punctured tyre game. Game, you are mean. <laughs> oh, I was going to rejoice at the fact that we found a tyre, but no, it's another rubbish punctured tyre. Uh, we won't take the motorcycle chassis. We'll take everything and then put that back because it is quite heavy. But we'll take all the other stuff for what it's worth, even the punctured tyre. Ah, botherations. Okay, we'll confirm that. And then I think what we'll do is, what we're going to do now, we'll finish up for the moment. I think that'll be a good thing to do. It's a good point to finish things for now. So when we come back next time, we'll head over to there, speak to Frank, hand in the sort of uh, tape things he gives us. Was it silver scrap or something like that? So he'll give us something for that. And then, yeah, we'll head over here, have a look at what's over there. And then maybe just sort of, maybe there's something, there might be something over there as well, possibly. There's some factories and things over there. So maybe there are some car parks and things that we've not seen in this part of the world. And we'll just sort of go looting again. We'll just go a looting and pop into various buildings and just see if we can find any kind of car parks. In fact, we've not been down here as well, possibly. So maybe we'll have a nosy over here too, just to try and uncover the majority of the map. That will be quite good. Um, and then, yeah, we'll just wait for the Black Roses to give us a mission that we can do. Let's have one final check. Just see they've not actually sort of popped a job on here that we've not seen. No, so nothing right now. So at the moment, we're just kind of waiting. We are waiting for the Black Roses to just you know, give us a job. Then when that's there, we can do it fairly quick. If it's a rare item thing, we can dash out and get it because we know where it's going to be. It's going to be in the rare item fairies holiday caravan. Um, and if it's an item sort of, you know, a resources request, we can easily do that. We can craft so much stuff. So that won't be a problem either. So yeah, we can get stuff done. We can get stuff done for them. It's just a case of them asking for our help 
with the right kind of request. So when that happens, that will be done and then we'll get the alliance sorted and then it shall all be glorious. But of course, yeah, we are reliant on them asking us for the right things, but I'm sure we'll get there in time. But um, yeah, I think we'll finish up for now, come back next time and fingers crossed, we can move the sort of, yeah, the Black Roses quest line along a little bit. That will be marvellous stuff. Hopefully you have enjoyed this. If you have, please do leave a like. That would be most marvellous indeed. And also, if you're not already, then please do subscribe to keep up to date with how we get on here next time out in Shelter 2. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard and I will see you next time. Oh no, not the piggy wigs. Want them to be healthy. Happy pigs, please. Raspberries, raspberries, raspberries everywhere. I went through and sold a load of turkeys as well and they still come back. They're still coming back to haunt me. The storm moisture's going down. We need rain. We need rain. What's going... <laughs>